The Camp Into the Future Mystery Party was established to conclude a high-interest mystery unit, utilizing the novel The Westing Game by Ellen Raskin. In previous years, the unit had culminated with a purchased mystery off of the internet, generally costing around $80. This year, however, the English students at the Cutsar Academy decided that they would be happy to create the mystery finale for their classmates. Six writers, a technology director, and a group of actors and artists applied for their roles on the mystery creation team, earning the right to represent the sixth grade for this highly challenging exercise. The rest of the class still wrote mysteries, but focused instead on individual narrative writing, not on the difficult mix of drama and narration that is involved with creating a live mystery party. The goals for this IB Middle Years Program project were to provide a motivational, highly challenging, student-centered, and authentic task. The different options for completing the unit also allowed for a high level of differentiation, helping the teacher to work with students at several levels and to celebrate the various intelligences of around one-fifth of the grade, or 20 students. According to David Noonan from the Cambridge Language Teaching Library, it's important to allow learners choices in deciding what to do and how to do it. The famed educational psychologist, Jean Piget, also believed that the learner must be active to be engaged in real learning. In an article in the Meridian, a middle school computer technology journal went further to state that a meaningful context that brings the real world into the classroom learning environment is key to promoting learning. Experts aside, it just makes sense and aligns with the philosophy of the MYP program. Middle school students, students like all people, want to be challenged, have fun with their friends, and want real-world tasks to see if they are ready to take on the world outside of school. A mystery party, murder mode, mystery or otherwise, was the perfect way to connect to students' interests outside of the classroom. As television shows like CSI have been on the American television top 10 list for 11 seasons and have led to spin-off shows like CSI Miami, CSI Las Vegas, CSI New York, and NCIS. Not only are these shows still all all still in the top 20, judged by the Nielsen ratings, but they are also played consistently in the Middle East on television channels like Dubai's NBC Action. As shown on these slides from the Meridian Journal article, the mystery party idea met all of the requirements for creating a truly authentic task, including the involvement of teachers from around the school. The only way that it could be made better would be to either bring in a mystery writer, a detective, or a forensic scientist. Now let's hear from the playwrights themselves. Okay, fine. All right. What ingenuity did you offer to the Camp Into the Future mystery? I believe that I mostly offered technology by putting all of the different characters and information about the camp on the wiki space, um, adding all the additional pages, and helping with sharing through technology and internet. Why is that important? Ordinarily, murder mysteries are just on paper, and that, that works, but why is it better to have it online? I think that it's important because anyone can go see it online. They can use that to check at home, or instead of just having it all in one paper, um, it would either, we'd either have to print all the copies for every single student, which would take a lot of paper and waste a lot of ink, or we could just put it on, uh, what's it called, uh, online. Anyone can check it. It's fast. doesn't need much effort. It can't possibly get lost because it's online. And... That's we've we've even, even gone on and made last minute or last second changes as well, which you couldn't do if you printed it. And do, do you feel that you got anything out of it? Learning. Like, what did you learn? Um, you, have to work for, you have to work for what you're going to get. And what you do might affect the whole class. Very good. Um, I just did it to um, take my mind off of other things because... I, um, I enjoy writing, and my sister uh, does it, my dad used to do it, and so I just thought it might take my mind off of schoolwork, and I actually enjoyed this, and I'm actually proud of what uh, our final pro product, and, uh, but the only thing that surprised me was how long it took, because um, now I understand like, how hard work can pay off. And I hope that when you guys read a mystery now, and you look at the plot that somebody else has laid out, you have a new appreciation for how much work and energy that took. And it's usually not one person acting alone either. The author might get it somewhere, but the editor is a crucial part of that. Definitely. You don't have to answer, but you're welcome to. Yeah. Um, I applied because I enjoy writing. It's one of my hobbies, and I thought it, it would be fun. So I applied. And <laughs> has it been fun? Yeah. Did you have to use any other subjects in this? I know you guys need to have a little bit of a break. But other than English, did you have to use any of your other subjects? For me, yeah, of, uh, of course. Uh, technology, IT class. Any others? Maybe a little bit for Matthews knowing. Maybe
be where the camp is going to be around the world. Mm -hmm. um, or t to get the evidence ready. Mm -hmm. We used um, a science clue and one of the solutions. We had the test tube there. Do I have to be like acting as if we had no idea? Uh, I, and as if it just like the clues just came in, and whenever we'd act as if we were that character. So do all my guess. What's been the best growing, the, the best learning that you've had through the experience? Writing different forms. Yeah, because um, as I've been said before, we used to write in narrative writing, but this is way different. So it, and it was also really fun to write about different characters and match them up with the classmates mm -hmm. and make whole characters that are um, completely different characters about different things. And it was also fun like thinking about the solutions. Like we had to make five different mysteries, and that was just quite fun. And you had to make five different mysteries. What do you mean by that? Like in the um in the group, five people uh, made five different mysteries. For example, mm -hmm. uh, when when we were given the task of making conclusions, they were sort of like, what could happen in the mystery? So that's what changed well, the different mysteries. Yeah, and the story was the same, it's just a solution. For example, Thanks. Hannah wanted a robot. Yeah, Shweba Lanka to be the murderer and she wanted Hannah uh, Ash Friction to die. And like the one we did now, Dania's Harry died and Sky is the murderer. Thank you. When I when I was just talking to Dusty Muffin generally, yes. she said she hates everyone. In a mean, grumpy voice. Hmm. And I heard Mr. Bentley share a secret with Mr. Pinky mm -hmm. and Mr. Pinky said you know you're too loud so it's definitely a secret mm -hmm. because he wanted it to be quiet. Mr. Pilcher. I have, I, I heard, at first I have one accusation. I say someone framed Chef Alex. Mm. And the other thing is that I am not the killer! <laughs> Any other predictions? Actually, I didn't have the camera out previously. Would you mind repeating exactly what you said? I saw Mr. Spy. Friction. We typed our message in the text box and let me say it. <laughs> I saw Sky sneak into the kitchen. Mm. And? And I have, and I have yes. one last thing to Mr. say. Mr. Rock? I have one last thing Rocky? to say. Rocky? I saw... I am not the killer. Yes. Ace, I really do think that uh, murder the counselor. Counselor. <laughs> Which one? Uh, Which one? No, I don't know. Okay, it's a guy. I'm bye bye. Ooh. The counselor was acting really suspicious. All 110 students in the Qatar Academy 6th grade took part in the Camp Into the Future Mystery, giving an authentic audience so the playwrights could evaluate the, su the success of their creation. Following revisions, the final product will be sent to several Mystery Party websites in hopes of publishing the student's fine work. You can see the evidence of this on our website at campintothefuturemystery at duckcutteracademy.wikispaces.net or contact Chad Schwabro, the NYP coordinator and English teacher, at cschwabro at qf.org.qa. We'll finish with camp song showing the interdisciplinary potential of this high interest project. <laughs>